I swallow. The razor blade. They don't do that. Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We post videos every day so if you'd like to show your support, smash the thumbs up button if you're a fan of magic tricks, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Throughout history, people have been fascinated by magic tricks, and even though everyone knows that behind every magic trick there is an often simple and always logical explanation, magicians usually create an illusion so perfect that magic seems to be the only possible explanation for what's happening. It is also well known that magicians rarely share the secrets behind their tricks, but if you want to know what's really happening on the stage, make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because we're about to reveal 7 of the greatest magic tricks ever. The torn dollar trick is one of the classic magic tricks that sees a bill torn in half before the ripped off half is torn into even smaller pieces. The magician then rubs the small pieces in the back of the whole half before unfolding the restored and undamaged dollar bill again. As so often, the secret behind this trick is good preparation. What you need is two dollar bills and some rubber cement or other glue. Start by folding one of the bills in half and then run a strip of rubber cement around the outer edges of one half of the bill like you see in the video. Next, place the folded bill on the other bill making sure their edges line up perfectly before pressing them together. Now you can fold the unglued half of one bill back and tear the other bill in half and then tear the ripped off half into even smaller pieces. Because you only glued the edges of the two dollar bills together before, you have created a small pocket into which you can now slide the torn up pieces while pretending to restore the dollar bill by rubbing the pieces together. Then fold the bill into a Z shape like this and you can show it from the back before pulling it open and revealing the undamaged dollar bill. When magician James Moore appeared on the TV show Britain's Got Talent, he left the audience and judges stunned. After his assistants placed him on the tip of a sword, they started spinning him around a couple of times before letting go of him and moments later he fell down and appeared to be stabbed. The assistants then lifted him up again and Moore was unharmed. This is certainly a trick that you shouldn't try at home, as it requires a special construction that was hidden under the artist's clothes. When he was placed in the sword's seemingly sharp tip, it folded and entered a hole in the construction and held Moore in the air. As he released his body tension and the sword appeared to be going through his body, he simply activated another mechanism on his chest that pushed the fake sword up making it look like he was stabbed. So, while this trick is pretty impressive, it simply requires a special construction. Well, and enormous body control of course, because not everyone can make themselves as stiff as a board like that. For the following trick, the magician takes a coin and a glass table and begins by showing the audience that the props are real and not meddled with. He then puts one hand under the glass table and places the coin on the table before covering it with his other hand. A moment later, the illusionist takes his upper hand off the table again and now the coin has magically passed through the glass and landed in the lower hand. There are two secrets behind this trick. The first one is that there are actually two false coins involved that are made from steel and the magician hides one of them in the palm of the hand he later puts under the table. The second secret is the ring he is wearing on his upper hand. The ring is magnetic and attracts the steel coins even through the glass, so when the artist has placed one coin on the table, he will proceed to cover the hidden coin under the table with his upper hand and pull it towards the coin at the top of the glass using the magnetic ring. He then lifts up his hand and the coin on the table will stick to the magnet, while the other one will fall into the other hand under the table and make it seem like the coin has magically passed through the glass. There are a lot of dangerous magic tricks that can be ruined for the audience if they go wrong and pose a serious threat to the magician. One of those tricks is eating razor blades and a lot of famous magicians like David Blaine or Chris Angel have mastered it. The audience witnesses the magician taking new razor blades out of a package before starting to weed them one by one. When he has eaten all of them, he takes a thread and puts it into his mouth too, before taking its end to pull out of the razor blades along with it. For this trick, the most important thing is to be well prepared. Oh. Ah. 
The magician takes six blunted blades even if he only eats three, and creates a garland using three of the blades and a thread, leaving one of the ends long and easy to handle. The garland is then compactly folded together and placed in one of the cheeks. He'll never eat his dinner after this. When the magician later eats the new blades, he throws his head back to let the audience believe he is swallowing it, while he actually uses his tongue to place the blades in his other cheek. He does the same with the thread that he eats last, before grabbing the long end of the prepared garland to pull the blades out of his mouth one by one. Even though this might seem easy, we don't recommend trying it out at home, since it's a pretty risky trick. In April 1983, David Copperfield performed one of his most famous illusions for a live audience of 20 tourists in Liberty Island. The Statue of Liberty, standing 305 feet high and weighing 450,000 pounds. They were seated in front of a giant curtain which Copperfield then lifted before lowering it again, revealing that the Statue of Liberty that had been there before had vanished into thin air. Of course, the magician didn't actually move Miss Liberty but he used a simple trick to create the illusion. If I successfully vanished the statue, searchlights would pass through the empty space that was occupied just moments before. Since the most important statue of the US is located on a small island, away from the lights of New York, and the only lights on the island come from the statue itself, Copperfield and his assistant simply covered the 305 foot tall statue with a curtain, and turned off all the lights before uncovering it again showing a seemingly empty space. Because the human eye is so easily tricked, and can only adapt to new light conditions over time, the audience couldn't see Miss Liberty as they were blinded by the bright lights on the scaffolds holding the curtain. A few minutes later, they just covered the statue again and turned the lights back on to let people believe it had reappeared. The entire thing has just disappeared. What happened, what it done to, I have no idea. No idea what it was. It was fascinating to watch it. I tell you, if I was home watching on TV, I would be a little skeptical, but I was here and it was there and now it's not there. Copperfield and his team even installed two giant rings of light around the statue pointing up in order to create the illusion of the vanished statue for helicopters and cameras watching from above. An epitome of magic tricks is pulling a rabbit out of a hat. For this trick you will need a table covered with a sheet, a specially designed cloth, a high hat, and of course a rabbit. The rabbit is placed in the cloth that is then folded into a makeshift sack and hung behind the magician's table. The magician then begins by showing the hat to the audience to prove that it's empty before placing the hat on the table with its opening facing down. When the magician lifts the hat and turns it around again, he simultaneously lifts the bag with the rabbit and places it in the hat without the audience noticing. He then pulls the rabbit out of the hat in front of the spectators a moment later, creating the illusion that the animal appeared in the hat out of thin air. As you can see from this video, most magic tricks are just illusions that require a certain amount of preparation and practice, but if you're willing to invest some time and effort, you can easily become the next great magician. The Chinese water torture cell is one of the most famous magic tricks of all. It was designed and first performed by the legendary Harry Houdini in 1912, and it's one of the most complicated and dangerous tricks in the world. There are several ways of doing it, but the secret is always in the tank's locks and the performer's physical training. While the assistants padlock the tank, the magician will secretly remove pivots from the hinges that are attaching the lid to the water cell. Then he will only have to use his abdominal muscles in order to pull himself up, flip over, and get out of the tank. Although it sounds like basically anyone could perform this trick, one should bear in mind that the Chinese water torture cell trick requires the artist to hang upside down underwater for about 3 minutes, which is challenging enough. And then there is also the physical effort as well as the danger of passing out underwater due to the intense blood flow to the brain, which makes this one of the most dangerous and life-threatening tricks that has gone wrong on several occasions. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.